to save the world. They just... They disagree on how. We all look the same after all, right? I mean, I could be Viet Cong, for all you know. A spy. A Vietnam War spy drama starring Robert Downey Jr., a new season of Maya Rudolph's comedy Loot, and a post-apocalyptic video game adaptation. Welcome to Arts24, where I'm joined by Deeptika Laurent for a look at the TV series picks of the month. Hi, Deepti. Hi, Olivia. Now, you're starting with all the latest from Cannes series. That's a major television industry event which has just wrapped up in the south of France. Yeah, that's right. That festival wrapped up in the city of Cannes. Uh, the uh, show that won Best Series is a German show called The Zweiflers. It's been described as a sort of Jewish succession, mm -hmm. if you like, a, a German dark comedy about a dysfunctional Jewish family duking it out for the inheritance of the family's delicatessen. Uh, in the best performance category, Spanish actress Aina Clote won for This Is Not Sweden. It's a Spanish uh, drama about parenthood and family. Okay, well, this is quite a high profile festival. They got some big names uh, this year Michael Douglas, Carl McLaughlin. That's right. Michael Douglas was there uh, for his new show, Franklin. Franklin takes us to 1776 when Benjamin Franklin, a.k.a. Mm -hmm. Michael Douglas, traveled to France to persuade the French monarchy to send guns and money to the Democratic Rebel Alliance fighting British troops in the War of Independence. It's actually based on a book by Stacey Schiff. Diplomacy must never be a siege. <laughs> But a seduction. Well, we both know you have trouble. You're up to something. I am plotting to deliver ships to the United States. No, you're up to something else. We have made an offer. Beware the Frenchman's promise. So, Olivia, that show premiered out of competition at Cannes Series. Another show that also premiered out of competition is Becoming Karl Lagerfeld. That's Disney wow. Plus's uh, biopic, Becoming Karl Lagerfeld. Uh, and of course, it caps a, a recent year dominated by fashion biopics. It stars German Spanish actor Daniel Bruhl as the iconic late German fashion designer. Critics and audience gave a three minute ovation after its premiere at Canceri. So it definitely uh, did uh, win some fans. Uh, and in the Lifetime Commitment Award, you mentioned it, Kyle McLaughlin was honored for his um, long spanning career, Twin Peaks, of course, but Sex in the City, Desperate Housewives, he's, he's really done it all. Yeah, he's had an amazing trajectory. And speaking of Kyle McLaughlin, he actually stars in Prime Video's Fallout. Now, this premiered as well, out of competition, is based on a wildly popular video game game of the same name, I believe. Yeah, just like fashion biopics, uh, the uh, video game adaptation of a TV is very popular. Uh, Kyle McLaughlin plays Vault 33 overseer Hank McLean in, in Fallout. Now, the show creators Lisa Joy and Jonathan Nolan are a wife and husband team behind TV blockbuster Westworld. Uh, they brought this video game franchise to the small screen. It's uh, set uh, 200 years in, in the future, in a post-apocalyptic uh, Los Angeles, those in a luxury fallout shelter uh, return to society left by ancestors and discover a, a complex and violent new world. It's been receiving positive reviews, mainly because it kind of, sort of takes a satirical, self-aware approach, uh, reveling in particularly over-the-top horror. Uh, take a look. out of this wasteland looks like chaos but there's always somebody behind the wheel the video games as you know are, are they're so complex and immersive and and, and, and huge, really, that you want time to be able to explore this, and hopefully we'll get that chance, you never know, but hopefully we get the chance to go deeper into this. Yeah, I've certainly heard good things about Fall, like, fall Out, sorry, but it does look quite chilling. Now, someone else at the festival this year was transgender actress uh, Michaela J. Rodriguez, who received the Commitment Award at Cannes Series for her work promoting the LGBTQIA plus community. Now, she stars in season two of the Apple TV plus comedy Loot. You can see it there, starring uh, Maya Rudolph as well. Yeah, that's right. Michaela J. Rodriguez uh, is uh, actually the first transgender actress to have won a Golden Globe in 2022 for her role 
uh, as uh, for her transgender role in the, another TV show called Pose. Uh, I chatted with her during an online uh, press event for Loot. Take a look at what, uh, take a listen to what she had to say about reprising uh, her role as Sophia, who is a cisgender woman. I think the main focus for me was to not make it either a biological or trans thing, but more so encompass it as a thing for just women in general um, and make a even playing space for all women. Uh, and it just so happens that I'm a trans woman playing a cis role. I hope that younger girls around the world, no matter if they're trans or not, can look to my character if they know or if they don't and say, I want to be like her. So Olivia, uh, Loot is actually co-created by Alan Yang, who was behind Aziz Ansari's Master of None, a very, very good show as well. Maya Rudolph's character, Molly Wells, uh, becomes an overnight billionaire after a very high-profile divorce, and she kind of goes a little crazy with all that money, but somehow lands on the doorstep of the charity foundation that she forgot she had actually founded. Uh, the charity is run by a quirky bunch of characters, including Michaela J. Rodriguez's Sophia. So season one ended with Molly rather spontaneously um, avowing to give her entire fortune away. Season two uh, sees her hilariously trying and failing to live up uh, to that promise. Okay, sounds like a lot of fun. Let's see some of that comic timing in action. Here's a look at the second season of Loot. Molly Wells is here to talk about her new housing initiative, Space for Everyone. We are on a real mission that is going to help a lot of people. I want you to get everyone into the conference room for a, you know, like a group talk session, like... Are you trying to say the word meeting? Yes, that's it. That's the word. Oh, it's Sophia again. Oh. She sent me a PDF. What is that? That's violence. That's what it is. So, Deepti, what did you make of the show? Well, I'll be honest, I actually didn't know the show until, um, until this month, and I actually binged the entire first season in about a week. Good uh, In a weekend, rather. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what I really loved, it's, it's warm, it's irreverent, it's, it's an earnest workplace drama. Uh, um, but it does go deep on certain issues like the widening gap between rich and poor and just how out of touch uh, rich people can be. But it's never moralizing. It sort of takes a very, um, a, 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 it's a very careful approach. Uh, it's the perfect escapist television. You know, it's so fun to watch. Thanks a lot in part to um, uh, Rudolph's uh, excellent comedic timing. There's a lot of outrageous situations that are just elevated because she's so funny. There's a really nice exploration in this season of the supporting characters' backstories, which I think uh, was quite nice. Look, not everything's perfect. Uh, some of the plot lines did feel a little contrived, and I'll admit that the the luster of the the pilot sister, uh, season wore off. But I'll still watch a season three if if there is one. Okay, well, Dipti, you actually got a chance to speak to the cast in a bit more length, and you can catch that interview with the cast of Loot here on France 24 later this month, and of course, you can find that on our website as well. Well, now to something quite different. Uh, Oscar winner Robert Downey Jr. is almost unrecognisable in his newest TV series, The Sympathizer, which also, he also co-produced. He was involved uh, backstage as well. This is a Vietnam War-era spy drama, which is out on Max this month. Yeah, and it's actually directed by renowned South Korean filmmaker Park Chan-wook and Don McKellar. Uh, the Sympathizer is a seven-episode adaptation of Viet Thanh Nguyen's Pulitzer Prize-winning book of the same name. It follows uh, the captain, who is this half-French, half-Vietnamese communist spy. Uh, you'll have to keep up with me on this one. He <laughs> leaves Vietnam with the South Vietnamese uh, general as Saigon is falling, he ends up in L.A. where he infiltrates a South Vietnamese community of refugees to spy on them for the Viet Cong back home. As you can imagine, he is torn between all his multiple loyalties and multiple contradictions. Yeah, sounds like there's a lot of double agent stuff yes. going on. So it's got everything, sort of drama, comedy, suspense. What was your verdict? Well, look, uh, it's, uh, there's one scene that really struck out, stuck out for me. Uh, they're uh, boarding this plane as Saigon is burning. It's just a really beautiful piece of cinematography, so it's so beautifully shot. It contrasts uh, really well also the part, uh, that sort of whole section when they're in uh, L.A. and you see how out of place they feel in America and the hostile re reception they receive and the racism. And Hoa Swande, uh, who plays the captain in what is one of his first major international roles, he's an Australian actor of Vietnamese background. He 
fits like a glove into this role. He's charming, he's cheeky, he's charismatic. Uh, it's a very offbeat show. It's not your typical spy drama. It's uh, got a lot of black comedy. It's got a lot of caricature, uh, suspense drama, intrigue. Um, maybe a bit too much intrigue because there is a lot of uh, flip-flopping between past and present uh, to explain things that have happened that you missed. And so uh, sometimes it gets confusing, but nonetheless, it's uh, very much worth the ride, Olivia. Okay, well, I definitely love the book, so I'll be checking out the series. Deepti, thank you so much for that roundup this week. We'll leave you now with a look at The Sympathizer, which is out this month. Otherwise, do check in with us here next time on Ask24. What happens to a mole when it is suddenly thrust into the sun? This is counterintelligence. It gets wet down here. What are you concealing? I don't know if I can go on like this. Đây là một nhiệm vụ tự sát. Cuộc đời là một nhiệm vụ tự sát.